Okay, this week it is a um, Osram Lady Ada. What is the Ion NPI product brought to you by Adafruit and DigiKey this week? This actually, this is an eye. Um, this is a, an eye for a optical sensor from AS, AM, AMS Osram. Uh, this week, new, uh, this funky little chip. I actually kind of like this drawing that they made. This is the AS7343. Uh, a uh, new chip from it's a spectral sensor it's got 14 channels of uh, spectral sensing 12 um, color and then one clear and one flicker detection so it's like kind of 12 channels of uh, color will show all the different um, spectral colors and um, this is a, a great sensor that is, is really nifty because um, normally when you have color sensors it's something like this, that you know, the TCS34725, a well-known and well-loved color sensor. Um, you know, this sensor has RGB um, and clear. It's a, you know, a really old breakout we've had. And you see in the middle there, there's four diodes. There's the clear diode, red, green, blue, and then they go into an ADC. Um, you know, there's some filtering done, and then you can read uh, the data over I squared C. Um, and this is fine, you know, as long as you're basically trying to look at something and, and mimic what your eye would see because our eyes uh, if as long as everyone watching this is human um, have this kind of spectral response you have red green and blue cones and then depending on how you know wavelength hit that um, hit your eye you know a wavelength that is yellow you know it's it's technically the wavelength is you know you know 610 nanometers what happens is that it triggers your, your red, green, and, and blue cones, and then your, your eyeball perceives it as yellow. Um, and as long as you're like detecting the, the basic color of things like, um, oh, is it orange? You know, is this a Skittle that's green or blue? Like you're trying to mimic what a human sees, you can use an RGB color sensor because you're just trying to look at what a human looks at. Um, and that's totally fine. But if you're actually trying to find the more complicated spectral response of something, um, like this is a lamp and you can see that there's there's wavelength bands, it looks overall white maybe, or maybe a little bit yellowish, um, but the actual, you know, each nanometer wavelength that is emitted isn't just red, green, blue, it's like there's a continuum. Now, if you have a very expensive uh, sp spectrometer, you can make a graph like this. Maybe you don't need something that is com completely continuous, um, maybe you're happy enough with something that can detect um, a couple separate bands and then you can kind of figure out, you know, what, what bands are emitted by, uh, you know, doing some mathematical analysis, uh, you know, based on, you know, 7 to 12 points. Um, so the previous version of the sensor, which we, you know, the reason I was excited to see this is we've stocked the AS7341. Uh, we designed this two years ago. Um, and this sensor, uh, you can see here in, in the middle, has, um, it, this is, I think it was called a uh, 11 channel, but really it's eight different colors and then like clear flicker and then I think like clear minus near IR or something. Um, so it's basically eight, eight ish channels of, of color spectral sensing. Again, way more than the three that you normally get, red, green, blue. Uh, it would have like orange, it would have like near IR, it would have something more violet. Uh, so this are, this is the center wavelengths of each channel. So it goes from uh, 415 nanometers up to uh, 910, and then clear and flicker detection again are, are separate. Um, and then uh, this is the new 7343, so you can see it goes lower down to 405, uh, and it, you know, there's, there's way more bands in the middle there. So um, you get 12 total bands of uh, peak wavelength detection, which just gets you closer to that, you know, continu it, it's, you can see you're getting pretty close to uh, continuous readings. There's like all the way from, uh, you know, ultraviolet down at 350, um, peaks at spectral response of red around, you know, 680, and then uh, near IR, you get a little bit over there on the right, uh, looks like uh, 800 to 900. So. You know, it's it's much better. It's not, of course, it's not fully continuous, but for the price, it's really great. I mean, you don't have to have a full spectrometer set up with like a diffusion grading. This actually can uh, read the individual 
um, diodes that are doped to respond to each frequency. Um, so you get something that's better than just what humans can see. You actually are getting a, a more scientifically realistic view of the light that's being emitted. Um, and then this is what the sensor array looks like, which I just thought was such a cool image. I wanted to include it so you can see, uh, you know, there's a couple, um, there's multiple diodes for each color. So like F1 has two um, diode elements, clear has the four corners, and the UIR has over to the side. I guess, you know, they, they lay this out in a way so they don't interfere with each other, of course. Um, that's the sensor array. And then this is how you wire it up. So like the AS7341, uh, the 43 um, has the spectral sensors in the middle. What's nice is that, you know, you don't even need a lens if you don't want. Um, and then you can connect to it. Uh, you just power it from 1.8 volts. You'll need some level shifting perhaps, um, but you just have I squared T and interrupt. Uh, the GPIO is handy. Uh, I think, if, if I remember correctly, the like the AS7341, you can use that to control an external illumination LED, like we found like kind of a wide band white LED. You can use that. If you're detecting a flat surface rather than light, uh, you bounce your you know, neutral light off of it and you can detect um, the color that way. So a nice update to the 7341. Looks like it's pin compatible. Um, you, you know, the code's not gonna be completely the same because of course there's more uh, spectral elements. However, you can probably start with our, our Arduino C or Python slash CircuitPython code to get you started with this chip. Okay, and available on DigiKey. And when we say available, we actually mean it. Wow, it's in stock. Okay, you get 366 of them. And it's not too expensive. I mean, it's like six bucks. So it was very cheap for what you're getting. And they have a cool video. So we're going to play that, and we'll see you on the other side. This video is for the AS7341, but it's very similar, and I thought it was in the theme. So yeah. just be aware that 7343 has more elements, but the video talks about you know only 11. This one has 14. I've worked for AMS for 10 years and I manage the field applications engineering team for the Americas. I would definitely want to be able to sense and enjoy the beauty of color. So I would choose to be the AMS AS7431 11 channel spectral sensor. The human eye is amazing. I have lenses in my eyes and I can sense all these wonderful colors. Well, the AS7341 spectral sensor also allows the sensing of eight channels of visible light. But even beyond the visible light, which my eyes can see, the 7341 does two things that my eyes can't even do. It can sense flickering, like in light sources. And also the AS7341 is able to sense near infrared, which I definitely can't see. I think if I were the AS7341 spectral sensor, I would be able to enjoy all these colors, both seen and unseen at the beach here today. 